Today we're going to talk about redneck ingenuity. Here we go. So, you want to bleed your clutch, right? But there's only you. You don't have no one else around. Okay? So here's how you do it. You don't need any special tools. 5 16th hose, okay? This is a fucking a peanut uh, bottle jar. I've got one hole drilled. And then I've got a little air hole on the other side, okay? You don't really need that, but that's just being fancy, all right? That's my bucket full of grease because I changed out the uh, slave cylinder, four bolts. Um, your slave cylinder is going bad if you check your, uh, your brake reservoir up there and you've got little black stuff in it. Looks like uh, uh, brake dust or some sort of like uh, rubber or something. So anyway, eight millimeter wrench up here, open this up just barely, barely open it, right? And then you're gonna go up top and you're gonna make sure your reservoir is full up there, okay? And you're gonna slowly pump your clutch and you take off your side fairing, okay? And you can look through underneath the batteries and you set this in the way where you can see this at. And you make sure you keep filling up the reservoir up top slowly pump your clutch and your clutch will get hard as shit harder than you've ever felt it before and you will see all the air bubbles just going out slowly slowly going out slowly going out and then once you get all the air bubbles out and your clutch is feeling amazing like it's never felt before come down here tighten up your eight millimeter and uh there's fluid still in this line you can see so basically this is the clutch line that comes down and uh, it's all full, it's all primed. I tightened that, 5 uh, hardware store. Um, this right here is standard uh, airline for the fishing fish tank. Uh, it's one fourth, I believe. One fourth will not fit the bleeder nipple here. You need 5 sixteenths, something like that. You wanna ensure you got a good seal around there. These bolts, be careful with them. They're size 12 millimeter. They come off fairly easy, but you gotta make sure that you don't strip it out because it, I, I believe it's aluminum into steel. Um, and that's, that's, that's it. I use a little bit of, of anti-seize, a little bit of thread sealant around here and around the bolts. And uh, this, this only requires one beer, uh, so it's not that hard of a job, 35 minutes maybe. You uh, get some brake cleaner and you wanna clean this stuff out inside of there. That same black stuff, what happens is it gets inside this rubber boot and it creates some sort of a suction and it sucks up and goes in that brake line, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, but that's my guess because it looked like that was inside the reservoir up there a little bit. So there you go. Uh, you can use any type of jar. It doesn't have to be specifically uh, salted nuts. <laughs> but, you know use whatever you want anything that's going to stand up easily because you don't want this thing to fall over while you're fucking with it because this is going to be all over your driveway um yep when this is off what i did first first step was i took this off 12 millimeters okay pulled it out because i left the system primed and uh i cleaned everything out with a scraper and some brake cleaner make sure you wear safety glasses because uh this will blast you in the face it's not fun and uh that, that's it Good luck.